and nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson from the Raw Life Health Show. Today's Friday, and weekend's coming. Have a great weekend, everybody. Today's show, we're going to go back a couple of weeks when John was visiting us. Uh, we went coconut hunting, and we're going to show that in this video all about coconut hunting. So enjoy this video. Enjoy uh, all this information about coconuts, young coconuts, old coconuts, hairy coconuts, white coconuts, green coconuts, Thai coconuts. It's all here in this video. we got some exciting shows coming next week. Uh, really special guest next week, so I look forward to that. And also, we have another exciting thing. A, a coaching program that's starting out. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I have a new website coming out soon and this new coaching program. Uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. So uh, it, I'm just, I'll, I won't say any more. You'll see. Monday, tune in Monday. I'll talk more about that. And uh, we're just uh, here still in New York. We're doing the talk tomorrow night, uh, Saturday night in New York City at Bonobo's Restaurant. And then we're heading on Sunday down to Delaware and the Philadelphia area. And then we're going to be in the, the Pennsylvania area all next week. Then we get back to Florida. But uh, in these next uh, couple of episodes, you're going to see some new information about this new coaching program uh, that I have coming. And uh, you'll hear more about that soon. Enjoy these coconuts here. Today's episode with John from a couple of weeks ago. My beard will be a little shorter, so you'll see how long it's actually grown in the last week or so. It's growing. I'm loving it. It's growing good. Uh, sooner or later, I might have to cut it. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what do you think, Andrea? Maybe. Maybe trim it a little. Uh, we'll see how long we let it go before I w go to sleep and I wake up with Andrea on top of me with scissors. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. But right now, Noah can stop pulling on it a little, but eventually she'll pull it on more. Uh, I got my little silver wisdom growing in the middle here, so I'm excited about that. And uh, it's just a great life here. We're still in New York, and it's, the weather's been beautiful, but we can't wait to get back to Florida. All right, enough of me. Uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy these coconuts, you nuts, you raw nuts out there, and uh, we'll see you Hello. soon. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Meeson with the Raw Life Health Show. It's early this morning, uh, but my friend's in town from California, and we're going coconut hunting. Uh, we just got some coconuts in this tree here. Uh, and check out what we got here. And we just go around South Florida collecting these coconuts right off the tree. These are young coconuts. Uh, my friend's website, what's your website? Youngcoconuts.com. Youngcoconuts.com. He talks about the coconuts and the value of them. A lot of people in the raw food movement today get these Thai coconuts. They're dipped in a, a lot of toxic stuff that you really don't <laughs> want to be put in your body. And it actually does penetrate the shell because even though the shell's hard, right on top of the shell there's three holes. Uh, that it can get inside, but even worse, it's not fresh. It's coming all the way from Thailand. It's frozen and well, so it's not fresh. <laughs> no, we want to make sure we get it as fresh as possible. So we're getting these right off the trees here uh, and drinking them uh, pretty soon right after, and then we're using the meat. Uh, we have uh, John making us uh, some blueberry ice cream with the coconut meat a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so we're gonna finish harvesting these coconuts, and then you'll see we had a big tree uh, just recently. Uh, you'll see the video right now. We went up on this big tree and uh, a little challenging, but we got some from there. Uh, and uh, we're just going to search the neighborhood and try to get some. So uh, let's see what John has to say. He's a coconut man. What's up, John? All right, Paul. Well, I once again want to say this. If you could get fresh coconuts, by all means, if you have, you know, friends in South Florida or Hawaii or Puerto Rico, definitely, you know, get the fresh ones there. But if all you could get is the Thai coconuts, you know what? They're better than drinking the little coconut waters and the tetra packs because those are totally processed you know we want to be eating as fresh as possible and as fresh as we possibly can in our situation where we're at when i'm in california you know i buy the uh, thai coconuts but i also buy the mexican coconuts so there's mexican white coconuts and brown coconuts and so those are a little bit older than the thai coconuts but the mexican ones aren't dipped so i've been actually eating more of the mexican ones or actually drinking but the more worst of the water is the coconut water in those little shells that they sell at whole paycheck i mean whole foods right Oh, what's worse, yeah, is the little, I mean, but if that's, be, if you're going to drink a Coca-Cola, it's better to drink, you know, uh, coconut water in the Tetra, it's probably better to drink a coconut water in the Tetra Pack than a kombucha. I agree. You know, because the kombuchas, you know, they, I don't know, anyway, we won't talk about kombuchas, this is about coconuts. But coconuts are really excellent food, they just definitely, they keep my energy up, they're full of electrolytes, they're really, really, really good, and that's why I'm here with, with Paul, and we're collecting them today. You know, go to uh, John's website, youngcoconuts.com and read up about the importance of getting fresh coconut water. Uh, and as John said earlier, even the Thai coconuts, 
Uh, that's a really good sweet uh, water that you can get that you can use in some recipes. And uh, you know, even though it's dipped, you know, in some things uh, that aren't ideally best to the body, and some people say it penetrates the shell, and some people say it doesn't. Uh, that's still better than getting a kombucha or, or even a Coca-Cola like most people do. Uh, so, you know, you want to th get things as fresh as possible. I mean, if it has to stay on a shelf that's not refrigerated, uh, you have to be suspect to think, well, if this is on a shelf and it's not refrigerated, how can it stay on a shelf for six months, three months, even two months, you know, before it's not going to go bad? You know, you got to think the same thing with fruits and vegetables. They're going to go bad after a while. Uh, you want to eat it as soon as possible. Uh, you know, assuming it's picked ripe and fresh, uh, the longer it's on a shelf, it should have a shelf life to it. Uh, everything that's good for your body is going to have a, fre a ripening stage, a fresh stage, and a rotting stage. You know, and, and it should have a time to it. Uh, so if you look at like a Twinkie, you could put that in a package 20 years ago, it's going to look the same way in the package today. That's not meant for our body. You know, a coconut has a pretty long uh, life, and it'll last a long time. Uh, you know, the, the young coconut especially, it'll turn into an older coconut. Uh, and it'll still be good for you. So, but, but if you look at these things, you know, the things like even fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, they're better right after they're picked, assuming they're picked ripe. So we're picking some uh, fresh coconuts here. We're drinking them right away. They are really amazing. If you're ever in South Florida, look me up uh, so we can come uh, get some together. Uh, and, and, and by the way, a lot of people don't even know what a fresh coconut looks like. This is truly a young coconut. It's not like the white you see in a store. If you shave this down, then it's like a white Thai coconut. But those hairy uh, coconuts you see in a store in Sion Gilligan's Island, uh, those are coconuts that are, are mature coconuts, or uh, they're, they're not young coconuts or baby coconuts. And uh, the meat in those is gonna be thicker. Uh, and, and here, the fat in the meat, the meat is not thick. You can eat it with a spoon, and the fat in the meat uh, is much lower. Uh, the, the nutrient content to the water, you know, the, the electrolytes is, is much higher. So, you know, it's better to drink this, uh, drink it this way if possible. Uh, but if you have to drink it that way, you know, th that's still going to be better than most uh, liquids you can get today. So, so everybody, camera's run out of time. Uh, the sun's coming up. So, uh, you know, and the people are coming out more important. So we got to get out of these trees and uh, so they don't, you know, say anything about us and uh, these trees. Now we're on public property, so we're not on anyone's private property. But we do go and knock on people's doors and ask them if we could have their coconuts, and they usually say no problem. We're actually doing them a favor because they don't know about them and they don't use them, and we hope they're not seeing this video, so they don't uh, want our coconuts. But uh, they let us have them as well. So everybody, uh, this is John Kohler and Paul Neeson for the Raw Life Health Show, saying have a great day and a great uh, coconutty life. Did you find the coconuts?